Hey guys, for positive and refreshing content, do subscribe to my channel Divyansh Dhamani and click on the bell icon to never miss any updates. What's up, dreamers? You do and welcome to this vlog that covers only the interesting parts of my life and not the boring parts. So for today, we have a speaking engagement at this platform called Millennium Youth. Uh, which is a youth wing of an organization called Millennium Vams, which do some fantastic work in our city of Kolkata and also across India. Uh, and we are talking about BYOB. It's not bring your own beer, it is being your own boss. Uh, so yeah, I have some exciting things to look forward to and some bright minds to interact with. So let's roll. As a speaker, storyteller, entrepreneur, video blogger, presenter, and adventurer, he is Divyanshu Damani, the marvel of Calcutta. When I came out of college, by that time I was getting invites from IITs and TEDxs and other platforms to come and speak there. So I thought, I don't know, I'm doing something wrong. I'm calling IIT, I'm doing something wrong. This is rare. Okay, I put eyeliner. It's a big thing. Okay, you guys are too appreciative. <laughs> uh, I could see that 72 students in BCom mornings in Xavier's, out of that, 68 of them are doing BCom C8. Just put some thoughts, put it out, and people will respond, believe me. That's how it happened. I out my first video, uh, I remember I was wearing a black shirt and not this one, but... <laughs> it was a black shirt and there was a lot of innovation then. And uh, it's like it was, it was well. It was like life giving me a slap on the face. Like come back on the ground. This is the reality, and this is how it works. And you need to understand that. If I would not have done that, and uh, if I would not have put myself out of the comfort zone I was in, uh, I would never be able to progress. Be it with my talk show, be it with my speaking engagements, be it with the community that I'm thinking of creating right now, where I can include all of you, uh, and we can do together something brilliant. And if I'm unable to come out of that inhibition, then I am dead. If you find that your friend is constantly calling you up and telling you keep low, you will say yes! You will say yes! But if it's not monkey bar and if it's some other restaurant. You say no. Then you say whatever you want. Yeah, see, I get it. So, I mean, that. And at the point I'm trying to make is that if if they are constantly uh, pushing you to do things that are not improving you productive or, or you're not doing productive things, but you're not discussing ideas, you're discussing people, let's say. Ki kaun, kis ke saath kya, kyo, kaise, all of that. And I like I am the last person who's involved in that kind of conversation. If someone tells come and tell me gossip karte hai, I'm like, bro, thanks. Nice meeting you. I'll see you later. Raise your hand, man. Raise your hand and that's how you will get across the inhibition that you have. That's how you'll start growing confidence in yourself. Just don't think and raise your hand and you will see massive change happening. That's the last thing I want to leave you with. Thank you. Thank you Vinayashwa and Vantika for coming here, sharing with us your experiences, your journey. It is truly the success stories of people and entrepreneurs like you that inspire us to you even today. That was an amazing session guys and I absolutely loved it. There were so many thought provoking questions and that made me to think about so many different things about what I am doing and what I plan to do. So it was absolutely too good and I so 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 love interacting with the youth on a more personal level uh, because the kind of energy and the kind of positivity that you get out of it, it's, it's mind-blowing. And uh, so yeah, I, I'm looking forward to so many such sessions where I can interact with you guys on a more personal level. 
and yeah cheers see you around